Well, during our last segment, we talked about the orphans in Haiti and how it's led to an increased interest in adoption. But what's the situation like here at home? Here once again to shed some light on that is Dr. Nat Williams, president and CEO of Human Works Affiliates in Bethlehem and host of Navigating Your Life here on WFMZ TV. Dr. Williams, good morning once again. So let's start with that very question. You know, what is the situation like locally? Sure. There are 21,000 children that are in foster care in the state of Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And of those 21,000, about 1,200 are available for adoption. But about of that 1,200, about 420 are mentally ready and prepared to be adopted um, as we sit here today. Okay. And, and what kind of things, you know, you gave us some great advice uh, when we were talking about adoption, uh, adopting children from Haiti. What things need to be considered uh, when we're talking about a domestic adoption? Sure. It's uh, pretty much the same thing, mm -hmm. Eve, um, that you want to make sure that you're prepared for the long haul. One of the things that's dramatically different, and uh, we talked about this before and want to highlight it again, is the cost. One of the reasons why international adoptions are so expensive is you're basically hiring a case manager to see you through that process, to get through the immigration, uh, the citizenship, all those other issues. When you have a domestic adoption, that is not the case, and your taxpayer money is already paying for that case management. In each of the 67 counties in Pennsylvania, there's already a children and youth uh, a, uh, uh, office that is uh, managing adoptions in foster care, so it's a lot cheaper to adopt uh, domestically. And so. Uh, and, and uh, within Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that's also and important is you can look at the entire United States. So you don't have to uh, get a child from Pennsylvania. You can get a child from any uh, any state within uh, the United States. So, so um, and the cost a lot of times is very nominal. Um, and uh, for some children, because of their issues, there's a subsidy that will follow them until they're 18 and or 21. So it depends on their circumstances. So one of the things that people think is that adoption is so expensive. Mm -hmm. And again, if the child is from the United States, and especially from Pennsylvania, it's nowhere close to as expensive as people believe it is. Okay, so that's, that's interesting because I think a lot of people say, I have so much love to offer, sure. but there's no way I could ever afford sure. it. But right. you're saying And, and again, there's doing... adoption and then there's uh, foster care, Eve. And uh -huh. foster care is basically where you open up your home for a period of time uh, to children. Adoption is really when you make, take them into your family as a permanent uh, member. Um, so sometimes foster care may be more appropriate for a person as opposed to uh, adoption, but there are tons of options that are available. And let's talk about getting started with a domestic adoption. Sure. You know, there's so many agencies. How do you choose one to work with? How do you know that it's sure. a reputable, good agency? What Pennsylvania has done is they've developed uh, an adoption network that is run by Diacon Lutheran uh, Services. Um, and so uh, I think you're going to put up on the screen that information where people can go on that website mm -hmm. and they'll help you through the process. You could also call your county children and youth office and say, I'm interested in adoption, and they'll help you through the process as well. Okay, great. And I, I know patience, Dr. Williams, is key. Sure. How how long do these tend to take? Well, I've seen them go, an adoption go very quickly, and I mean a couple of months, and I've seen them take a couple of years. It really depends on the child and the family uh, and resolving some of the issues. So it's not a process that goes on forever. It takes a long time. It really depends where the child is and where the issues with their family, their natural family is. Um, but I would think on average somewhere between a year uh, to, uh, to 16 months is generally about the time it takes to adopt. And is the same true for adoptions abroad? Or no, do they sometimes it's Longer. Sometimes it takes longer to find sure. the child and to, to have the child uh, come on over to this country. So sometimes it takes longer. And, of course, people can get more great advice from you, Dr. Williams, sure. on your new show here on WFMZ TV sure. called Navigating Your Life. We can catch you Monday nights, right? At, at 8.30, uh, uh -huh. following uh, Business Matters. We've done it for the last uh, four weeks. Um, and it's been really exciting. Our last show this week was on autism. Next week is on heart health. Um, so we're trying to make sure we have topics that are interesting and appealing uh, for that half an hour. Great. Okay. Well, we wish you well. And thanks so much for sharing your expertise sure. with us my, this morning. My honor. All right, Dr. Bye. Williams, thanks so much. And we will be right back. Okay.